Hey guys, today we're going to do a really quick look at some of the new athlete monitoring tools that we've developed for our athletes. Um, not only for our athletes on site at the North Ryan University, but also for our athletes at uh, for Mass Elite, which are our online athletes. So they're going to be the first to beta test these new products. So it's pretty exciting. As you can see, here's going to be what their look workout looks like that they get. Um, We'll look at their total volume, of course, the total number of reps, um, average intensity for the day. We're going to look at the K value, which is a really cool, you can look that up online. It's a really cool um, ratio that helps you predict future totals. So uh, in a future session that we're going to make, of you know, a future module that we're going to make, we're going to get into detail about all of these things. This is just a glimpse. INOL is a it's the intensity number of lifts and that is a cool look at like the relative intensity of the, the day's workout. Um, this is that's on we're looking at on a daily basis. We're also going to look at it on a weekly and then in a much uh, bigger capacity we're going to look at uh, from day to day, week to week and month to month. Uh, we're going to look at it and a few categories. So far we're going to look at effect size which is simply looking at the each workout as it compares to the seven days prior. So it makes sure that you know for example you never want to go more than 10 percent um, in increases in volume from week to week and you know especially day to day but like week to week. So this makes sure that we're on no given day going higher you know, then, you know, what this person is physically capable of. And, and we can start to see that this little blue line, it uh, signifies like the, you know, pretty much the top of that athlete's capacity. And to go above it for one day is fine. We do that so we can get a stimulus. As long as the next day or two we drop way down. As you can see, uh, obviously we are. You know, these, when it's way down there for a while, it's probably a few days off. Um, monotony and strain make sure that you don't have any type of workout number that is like the same day in and day out like you want to wave even if it's low volume if you're doing the same exact volume and the same exact sets and reps on a day-to-day -day basis the studies would show that you're putting the athlete at risk so this is just a looking at the numbers and making sure that we don't do any of that and then obviously we're going to look at daily volume and making sure that we don't have any huge jumps um we're also going to have our athletes do a daily questionnaire, you know, with such questions as, you know, what's your body weight first thing in the morning? How many hours of sleep did you get the night before? Nutrition quality. You know, we're going to keep it very simple because I want to get as much response as possible. So if we do super complicated, you know, the response rate is going to be lower. So these are the questions we get. Um, we're going to give them on that. And then we're also, with that, going to take a look at how they compare. So here's some of the data that we'll look at when it comes to that. Hold on, sorry. So we'll look at, um, like for example, average rate of sleep the night before. And we'll set statistical process controls. That's what this gray line and this blue line, you know, signify. And as long as you're within those, then you're going to be good. However, if we get, you know, below it, that means this athlete did not sleep. Either, you know, that's the quality. I mean, the quality was way down. And then we can start to draw correlations between performance. And it might not be that day. Maybe they only slept, you know, the quality of sleep was terrible the night before. They had, they did great that day. But then we'll start to develop correlations two days, three days, a week. And um, so it just helps us. And this is, uh, you know, we'll be looking at all of our, this, this signifies like our athletes individually. So you can change it to it goes to athlete four. Um Anyway, so that's the look, and that's how we'll look at our questionnaire. But we'll look at things like this is like sleep, sleep quality. We'll look at um, nutrition quantity, and then start to see where they're at. And just, you know, the setting those SPC statistical process controls just helps us. You know, we can look at it quickly and see whoa, there's something way out of whack, or not. So we'll look at fatigue. Fatigue is an important one for you coaches out there because, you know, we do workouts specifically to, you know, get your athletes stressed and tired and fatigued. But if they're getting fatigued more than we're, you know, trying to fatigue them, then there's a problem. So it just helps you look at that. Uh, once again, we will do 
modules in the future where we're going to get really in depth on everything I'm going over. This is just a quick glimpse at some of the things that we're going to be doing. Um, this one is this is pretty interesting. I think maybe we've done this before. We showed you guys, but this is our athlete intake, and we're going to we're going to track this every four to eight weeks. We'll be looking at like body fat percentage, muscle mass for obvious reasons. You know, if you're a body, you know, body weight category sport like we are, then that's super important. Um, we're going to look at, you know, mobility, ankle, dors ankle dorsiflexion. We'll look at the Faber test, supine hip uh, internal rotation, spine hip external rotation, um, apple scratch test is to looking at the shoulder mobility and thoracic spine. This, this you know, the scapula thoracic wall sit anyway it just it helps you quantify you know if your athlete has any mobility issues and if they are you know what are they and then are they getting better or not and so um the performance we got the comp total we're going to look at the comp total meaning their weightlifting total as it compares to their strength total so just the, the squat and the deadlift and we're looking at their efficiency there uh, we'll look at the dsi which is dynamic strength index um which is a, a simple formula that lets you know if that athlete uh, can create force loaded or, and unloaded or vice versa. The reactive strength index lets us know about the elasticity of the athlete, which is very important. And this, the, as you can see, a lot, the majority of everything I'm telling you would be you could use that for not only weightlifters, but powerlifters, strength conditioning, especially athletic performance athletes. And we're going to look at each of our athletes as a, you know, we're going to get a force velocity curve with our um, gym wear unit and we'll see like what quality of strength that they're lacking and then we'll rate them against the, the rest of the team. This little line is pretty much the average of the team where the average of the team sits and then this will just compare each athlete to the team as a whole. You know, so we'll like athlete one, look at how he is, you know, athlete four, how they are. So anyway, those are some of the cool things we're going to be doing. Of course, we're going to continue doing the uh, looking at you know data analysis with our um, coach's eye. Sorry, blank for a second, but we'll look at you know with coach's eye, we'll do video analysis. We'll also continue doing um, velocity. Velocity will get integrated more and more with everything I just showed you. So probably in the next four weeks, we'll do another one of these little quick videos and you'll see how we've taken velocity and really integrated that in so that will be the next step that we intend on uh, doing when it comes to our monitoring tools so anyway i hope uh this was inform informative this gives you a look at you know some of the things that we're going to be doing in the future so if you're considering going to lenore ryan university we'd love to have you if you're considering joining team master lead online we'd love to have you this is some of the things that you guys will get to use i think that kind of sets us apart when you consider all the other things that we have. All right. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at uh, info at mashelite.com or you can do travis.mash at lr.edu. Thank you.